Hello, my name is Arnold Suarez. I'm a co and instructor here at Robolink. Welcome to your exciting adventure of coding and flying. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the things Codrone can do and some of the limitations that it has. Codrone is a programmable drone aimed at young students who want to learn about coding. Code Codrone to play games such as bowling. You can also program Codrone to do battles. You can program it to go through different hoops using the flight commands. With Codrone Pro, you can program it using Arduino. You can upload your code to your remote that you build. Using Codrone Lite, you can program it using Snap. With Snap, you can click and drop your code right onto the screen. The Bluetooth module sends its messages over to the Codrone. Codrone receives those messages and then is able to take off and fly. You can use our Basecamp lessons to learn everything you want to know about Codrone. When you fly Codrone, make sure you fly it in a well-suited room. Make sure there's no obstacles and it's well illuminated. If your drone drifts, the best thing to do is the co-drone calibration. You do this by holding the reset button, waiting until it flashes, and then setting it down until it takes off by itself. The full guide to our co-drone calibration is actually on Basecamp and you can check that out from our site. You can also make co-drone hold up to 7 grams. Definitely make sure not to fly co-drone outside or you'll probably crash it into a bush. You can also purchase our separate FPV module, which you can place on the top of Codrone. The camera lets you see in 720p resolution. Codrone is only compatible with laptops, not with tablets. You can update the firmware on the Codrone using the Petron app or Snap. You can also update the Bluetooth module, which is this blackboard here. You can fly up to five codrones at once. This is the optimal amount that you would want to fly in a classroom setting. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you have any other questions, please check out our forum. And of course, have fun programming.